However, I do think that there is a cultural push not to be like other girls, which causes certain women not to embrace their full femininity. Hello lovely feminine friends, welcome back to my channel, I'm so happy that you are here. I wanted to tell you that I apologize for the different setting, this is the only room in my house that I can use and my cat is nearby and you might see him kind of crawling around me because he is a very lovable cat. If you are new to my channel, please hit the red subscribe button as well as the like button on these videos because it helps propel the femininity message throughout the internet. Myself as well as many other content creators on the internet are really kind of creating this movement, this type of femininity revolution that is so important for the younger generation. My name is Cynthia. I am a millennial homemaker. Of course, I am a wife and I am also a former Miss Earth Canada. As you can already tell on my channel, I talk about femininity and I also talk about homemaking. Today's video was actually inspired by a negative comment that I received a few days ago and it kind of prompted me to have a conversation with some of my friends and in that conversation we brought up a few excellent points. So if you are my friend and we had that conversation, I thank you so much because this is partially inspired by you. Now I've already talked about how on the internet there is this influx of many women talking about femininity and if you are somebody who wants a certain instinct, Instagram, a blog, a Twitter, whatever social media, a YouTube, reach out to me and I'm so happy to support you. That being said, I do kind of find that there's a little bit of confusion on the internet with what femininity truly is. We might see a very feminine woman and we might think to ourselves that femininity in that woman is special or particularly remarkable and singular to that woman. However, there is a confusion between what personality is as well as what femininity is. If femininity was this elusive thing that we could not attain, there wouldn't be a point of me sharing it on the internet. There wouldn't be a point of me teaching you how to be feminine. One of my first videos ever, I talked about how femininity is on a type of range, a type of spectrum with masculinity on one end and femininity on the other. We often hear people tell us that femininity is complementary to masculinity because we tend to think that opposite means something negative. You are either good or you are either bad. But just because something is complementary, just like on the color wheel, doesn't mean that it isn't an opposite. Feminine traits are rather objective, just like masculine traits are objective. I have linked a few diagrams down below that I will probably also include somewhere here on the screen so that you can actually see what feminine and masculine traits are. Now there are some characteristics of femininity and masculinity that are used interchangeably. For example, confident. You can be a masculine man and confident and you can be a feminine woman and confident. The difference lies in the way in which we apply confidence. Masculine confidence would be more rooted in the doing of an action and feminine confidence would be more rooted in the feeling of when you are performing a certain activity, for example. Now back to what I was talking about in terms of the spectrum. So you as an individual, you might embrace many feminine characteristics, but in your life you might also possess masculine characteristics. What tends to make an individual unique is that they have different blends of both of these characteristics. However, in the femininity community and what I have found prevalent among many women is that we try to have a majority of our characteristics be feminine. For example, many women, this is kind of like a buzzword in the femininity community, but we try to develop the way in which we are nurturing. Nurturing is an inherently feminine trait. This means that as a feminine woman, you strive to develop your nurturing side and it actually is an attainable characteristic. As women, many of us lead similar lives. We will have families, we will have husbands, and 
so nurturing and our desire to form connections with people in our lives might tend to play out similarly to another feminine woman. Moreover, the way in which you speak, the way in which you act, the way in which you even move your hands in a cyclical manner, these are all feminine things. These are all things that I try to teach you on my channel. And these are all characteristics that are distinctly different from masculinity. Now the part where I think many people get confused about when they're trying to achieve femininity is that they confuse it with personality. You can adopt and you can try to develop all your feminine traits, which might be similar to another woman, which actually is probably going to be similar to me. But the difference lies in your personality, your interests, the things that you like. For example, collaboration is a very feminine trait. I have a YouTube channel here as well as other similar social media platforms and I try to collaborate with you lovely feminine women. But if you are a career woman, collaboration is going to look different for you because perhaps your interests lie in the field in which you are working in. For example, if you're an engineer, you might have the feminine trait of collaboration, but your way of expressing that collaboration is going to differ on your personality because your personality personality has the interest in engineering. You kind of have to think about it like math. There is one specific goal. There is one specific answer which is going to be all your feminine traits. The difference lies in the way in which you solve the math problem. Femininity is not an infinite and unlimited thing. There are thousands of ways in which you can live out that feminine trait, but at the end of the day, there are thousands of ways and there is going to be an end, even if it is a hundred thousand ways. Similar to the aesthetic, we talk about feminine makeup, feminine style, feminine hair. There are hundreds of different ways in which you can play out this femininity in your life, which is going to differ on your personality because maybe you like a feminine blue color for your wardrobe, but I like a feminine pink color, but those are still feminine. There is still an end point to femininity. There is still a range. Your personality and what you prefer is linked to your femininity, kind of like science. It's correlated, but it is not causation. Correlation, but not causation. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Elements of your personality are ingrained in your femininity, but your personality is not directly linked to your femininity. The fact that I like conspiracy theories, science, as well as learning about outer space does not affect my femininity, the way that I speak and the way that I carry myself, as well as the way that I interact with other people. I know that it's a little bit confusing and I hope that you are still with me on this topic, but it really had me thinking about the not like other girls culture because many of us are living out our femininity and we are like other girls because for many of us, our personality as well as our femininity will manifest itself in similar ways. However, I do think that there is a cultural push not to be like other girls, which causes certain women not to embrace their full femininity. And I think that it's really sad because it's kind of infiltrating a little bit the femininity movement. So I guess with that, my take home message would be to actually study what femininity is. Listen to me as well as other content creators, but understand that femininity is a type of objective quantifiable set of characteristics. Your particular mix of masculine and feminine might differ based on your life. And because of your personality, you might use your femininity in different ways. But I really do encourage you to learn about what femininity is and to not feel shame in adopting these feminine traits. To not feel shame with the not like other girls culture and to truly understand that it is okay to embrace these qualities of femininity. If you have any thoughts on the subject, I hope that you will leave me a comment down below. I also know that my good friend Ina made a similar video. I haven't watched her video on that in a few months. We might have said similar things, but I'm going to go fetch that link and I'm going to link it down below as well because you also might like some of the things that she said in that video. So I will see you in our next video. I love you all feminine women. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.